Hey guys and welcome back to Ellie Knows Rocks. I made it here. And where is here, are you wondering? Well, it is about 8 a.m. now. So the sun is finally up, high in the sky actually. And I am here near Lake Pleasant at the invite of Mr. Jock Hawkins, who has the Native Arizona Adventures Facebook group. And he is doing a rock hound tour today that I am on. And today we are looking for these little guys. Mm -hmm. Plus some blue seam agate. These are beautiful Castanea agates. We're also going to be looking for some thunder eggs as well. So I can't wait to actually see where those are at. So thank you all so much for being part of my adventure. And let's go see what we find. So as much as I can't stand getting up super early in the morning, nothing beats the sunrises in Arizona. They're absolutely stunning and very, very blinding when you drive. <laughs> but even though my Jeep was re-geared, it was doing great. And here we are headed to the first stop. And oh yeah, I dropped the camera because I drive a stick shift and sometimes you have to shift. I am here with Josh Hawkins. Yes. yes. And so he is going to tell us a little bit about this area, kind of how long he's been out here and how he got started with his Facebook group. Hi, yeah, I'm Josh Hawkins with Native Arizona Adventures and I've been coming out here for about five years now. Um, do a lot of uh, surface collecting around here, finding thunder eggs and blue agates. And what got you started with your, your Facebook group and wanting to like share your love of minerals with people? Well, I actually joined uh, Arizona Rock Hounds and set up an event out here and had 60 people come out <laughs> on my first event and that was kind of overwhelming and a shell shock for sure. But then I, uh, I set up another event we did cutting events and it just became something that, you know, sharing is caring, kind of spreading the love for, for what we're doing out here. And I did it a lot for rehabilitation purposes, you know, I was, um, you know, just going on hikes, losing weight, getting healthy, getting active, getting out there and and just having fun. So I was like, I'm gonna just create another group that is is more fun loving and <laughs> more about the sharing and and uh, yeah, I just started bringing more and more people out here, setting up more events and and growing and and then it just took off faster than I thought it was going to and and it's just become something that uh, has been passion of mine for for years so that is amazing to find fellow rock hounds that absolutely love and are under the same influence as leave no rock hound behind because it sucks so if you guys would like to find and follow Josh where can they find you uh, on Facebook uh, Native Arizona Adventures um, and also on YouTube as well Native Arizona Adventures on YouTube Awesome. Well, we will have those links in the bio so that you guys can go follow him if you would like to and, and see what he's up to. Beautiful, beautiful agate. Got a nice layer of jasper. It's got some dark, darker layers in there. So the iron changing its color, kind of that blue black. Beautiful banding. And this is just on the surface so far. All right, let's see what else we can find. Just laying around. I looked up just a second ago and thought I saw something and it disappeared. <laughs> but I don't know if it's anything like, try to break it. 
Uh -oh. this side off of it. Oh, it's almost right. ready to break. <gasps> yeah, it just has that green. Oh, bummer, yeah, it's not enough silicate. These ones look almost. Yeah, yeah, that one's pretty, pretty close. I don't know. I'm promising to cut. I don't know. Let's just, maybe if I walk faster, <laughs> I'll get there quicker. Really? All right. That one's trying to be. I don't want a kind of one. I want an actual. Thunder egg. Swirls, pretty shapes inside. So we can slice it open, polish it. I don't even know if my slant lab will actually polish something very big, but we will attempt. Oh, oh. I love the little the bubbly. nubs. Yeah, those ones are more promising. That's cute. That like, we could, ouch, my rock hammer's hurting me. You try to cut that open later. It's not, it's not Hey, bad. but that, that's one. Ow, sort of. Damn it. That's a perfect one. Cool. Snatched it right out of the ground. All right, let's find one, let's find one. It's, it's close. See the spider? Oh, yeah, wow. That's amazing. Is it good? I hope this is catching that. It's got it's some right really there. nice patterns. Oh, oh this spider web right there. I can't believe I just like walked yep. a while to build. Look at him. Ew. Gross. <laughs> a thunder egg is a nodule-like rock similar to a filled geode and is formed in a rhyolitic volcanic ash layer. Thunder eggs are rough spheres and mainly look like a regular old rock. They usually contain centers of chalcedony. If during the cooling process the thunder egg fractures, there can be a deposition of agate, jasper, or opal and any unique combination of these three. You can sometimes find quartz crystals or gypsum crystals within inside the thunder egg. If a thunder egg has a hollow portion of it, it's usually considered a geode, but not all geodes are considered thunder eggs. It's like half a one. Oh, look at that. That's been cracked open. But that is a pretty red one. <sighs> that's awesome. So that's what the outside looks like. Oh, beautiful white in the middle. The bag's getting full. See you later. I got a lot of stuff I'm gonna have to cut open. That's gonna be fun. I'm searching very hard for these. Bitty round guy. He is very cute. About the size of an eyeball. <laughs> Check it out. All those little crystals. This half a thunder egg. Yeah. <laughs> it's the outside. It's the inside. Yes. Finding something. This is so cool. I'm finding some pretty cool stuff. And then I looked down. I'm curious about this little guy right here. Look how cute that is. It's 
little round guy. <gasps> oh, that's awesome. <laughs> it's really cool. Yay, we're finding some really, really cool stuff. These are gonna look awesome cut. No bag so far. Bunches of stuff in there. Oh, awesome. It's broken, but that's still really neat. Let's squirt it off real quick. Once we open that up and cut it right down the middle, it'll look cool. Up this because I think that it's going to be really good. I'll wait till I get home in order to cut it. Fingers crossed that it's good. I mean, that's promising. Just from that one. I don't know if I should take this piece. Maybe I should just snack it a couple more times and see what's inside. <laughs> This is a good guy. Looking for some gas bubble geodes now. Out just a little ways from where we were at. There's all kinds of stuff on the ground already. What we're looking for is little tiny, almost teardrop shaped rocks. Basalt. Oh, that's pretty. That's what the outside looks like. And then, got that in the center. There's all kinds of like float material going on. Stuff that's been broken open. We're on the hunt for these little gas nodules. You don't really know what's inside them until you cut them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Crystals. And that's the back. It's pretty cool. Yeah, between the black and the red. Yeah, with the gray no! and the... Oh, look. That's a pretty cute little guy. Hmm. <laughs> find the bigger ones. Let's keep the bigger ones. I found some. Did you? Look at those. That is really pretty. Yeah. I like any type of shiny rock. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> are going to be the actual gas bubbles. Oh, look at that. 
that one. Super lightweight. You can see those crystals there, so if... Mm, can't, oh, you could kind of see through it. So that might be a real good geode in there. Nice find. Awesome. Is it here? And here's just some of the other ones I've been finding. Just all these guys hoping that one of them is going to have something really good inside there. Here's two. There's this little guy. And that's kind of a seam. Hmm. Hmm. I was trying to make it my mission in order to find some beautiful gas bubble geodes. I searched all over the side of the hill. And granted, I have a fairly keen eye once I know what it is that I'm looking for. And everything I was looking for today, minus the chalcedony agates, I'd never looked for before. And I didn't even know you could find them in Arizona. The formation of these bubbles is quite awesome. As lava cools, the gases form bubbles. It's these bubbles that are potential geodes. Only when the geodes form slowly do you get crystals. I'm looking for these little teardrops. It's quite challenging. But there are some. I have I got a hefty amount in my bucket. But like these, you can polish them up and they'll look kind of pretty. But finding some, oh, okay, so I might have just gotten lucky. Can't hear anything in it. It was pretty hollow though. Bucket. Just kind of hoping for the best. I'll see once I get home and can cut them open. This is that last geode. It was hollow. It's so pretty when it was cut. So I'm about done with this little portion of everything and heading off to another site to go find calcite. Fingers crossed. And then it oh gets gosh. smaller the bigger. So, check this out. I'm gonna go try to extract this piece, and then maybe a couple over here. That's so cool! All right, let me, let me like, just sit in here, because that's gonna be the best thing I can do. And, okay. How clear it is, though. Happened. Oh, it's fine. Uh, it's cool, but yeah, like after a minute, it like turns off. Let's get that bigger one. Oh yeah, this, this is gonna happen. <laughs> And this is the type of stuff that you can put over a piece of paper and you'll see double letters. Wow. So, well, I mean, some of those will be good at least to keep, but, but wow. look how clear. Man, oh man. Look at that rainbow just flat right there. <laughs> that was so cool. That was amazing. So definitely worth it. Like coming up here in this little in thing. <laughs> this is so sweet. Yes, yes. Awesome. Headed to the fourth spot today. Looking for other thunder eggs. Keeping fingers crossed was told they're laying on the ground. Everywhere. Everywhere. We'll see how this works out. <laughs> I, oh. Get your primitive tools out. Smacking rocks on rocks. Yeah. Primitive tools. Yep. <laughs> yeah, this is a pretty cool one. And then there's this one. 
Oh. Not like a uh, fully formed. Found one. Found one. Found one. Oh, whoa. Like Ooh, yeah, there you go. Something there like you that. go. Giant one. Is that going to be any good, do you think? Yes. For sure. Look at how it comes out on both sides. And that's just where it fractured on the outside. Oh, oh he's got one too. Awesome. And I got a little tiny. That's rosy, awesome. Rosy one. Sweet. Oh, look. Yeah, we're, we're getting to it. <gasps> oh. oh. This is cute. And I so to totally, side, totally saw that first. Side of the mother. Here you go. Awesome. No, no, no. I'm, I'm kidding. Oh, well, you're going to be uh, like, oh, I don't this is think the formation. Look you're going to dump them out the, and try to figure yeah, it yeah, out. Yeah, 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 yeah. Look at this. Look at this. Look, no, look, yeah, they're yeah. everywhere. There's one here. This is the, this is the deposit. Oh, look. Oh, my gosh. It's, we're not even to the main. Okay, we, we need to stop because my See, bag's going to get full. Yeah. Oh, whoa. Yeah, this is where Look at those little grapes. Yes. Wow, it went from having a thought to like they're all gone. Oh, yeah. Whoa. It's just what we were finding down there, yeah, all the yeah. rile. Oh, look at that one. Which, yeah. That one's that was this. This one's cool here. Solid. <laughs> look. Yeah. Look at that yeah. rose. Oh my gosh! Right there. Another, 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 <gasps> yes, they're everywhere. How oh, cool! Yeah. Oh, there's so many of the roses down there. Yeah, yeah. Another thunder egg there. This is a, this isn't even the Walking main. Walking for the thunder eggs. Look at the look at the agates too that, that are just fully yeah. broken off. All the all the mushrooms. I am loving. This is like probably my my biggest. Wow. Like, so far. Oh. Wow. This is so epic right now. They are everywhere. And these are just the agates. We're not even to the thunder eggs yet. This is just the remnants. Ugh. Look at this. Primitive tools, smacking rock on rock. It's a mouth. Check those out. Holy crap, big old agates, big parts of thunder eggs, and we're not even in it. Look at the red in that one too. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Fantabulous. This is awesome. Yeah. <gasps> you can have agates for days. It's like too many. My bag already hurts my wrist, so I gotta chill until we actually get to the thunder eggs. There are chalcedony and thunder eggs everywhere. This is all over the place, but I'm trying to find ones that are a little bit more fortified, have a little bit stronger crystallization on the inside. Look at that, look at that. Wow, wow. That one might need to come home with me. Although my bag is filling up pretty fast. Look at that. Hey. Beautiful roses. Man, oh man. It's a broken one. It's a broken one. It just... Oh my gosh. Oh, I need this. Okay. I'm sorry. No, you're fine. Oh my gosh, people. I hope that you can see what that is. If you can't, ask somebody. <laughs> this this one's like totally, it's almost pink. Yeah. Almost pink? Yeah, look. Yeah. Right here. That's so funny because every time. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Twins. Twins. Cheers. Mm. The summer part about this trip is I brought zero beverages for after I'm finished. <sighs> so frustrating. <laughs> Ow! Yeah, yeah, no, not on the way to Baghdad. There's nothing there. And that would be. <gasps> oh, wow. Did you see that? Look at this one. Like, look at that. Oh wow, that's perfect. Huge. Awesome, huge, weird huge, rose. 
Oh, whoa. This? There's another one. Oh, yeah, this. Okay, yeah, another one. <laughs> another whoa. one. I wonder how much deeper it goes. Did you already throw that in there? Oh, no, look. look. Just, well, the other one? Yeah, it's, here. It's together, right? Yeah, it's the right other here. one's probably got like... Maybe he's the same brother. That's probably, yeah. Oh, wow, yeah. Okay, Um, you can clean with the, how you say? The ultrasonic machine. Oh, I just use soap and oh water. Oh my gosh, it no. goes all the way you back put, here. Does? You put, yes. You put in in a uh, ultrasonic machine and oh. with vinegar and, and remove all the black spots. Ultrasonic machine. What do you like make one of those on your own or? No, you I don't buy have one. for fifty dollars. Oh, I should get one of those. For the, the people use for the people use for clean the uh, the glasses for clean the oh like is it oh. air for if, no it's for ultrasonic your, it's or, like um for clean your wash or yes like your toothbrush even yeah, you know that kind yeah. of thing yeah, yeah this is a small pot and you turn it on and uh, make vibrations uh, how about I'm that sorry. one oh yeah. yeah isn't that cool yeah it's like a pot yeah it's a perfect one it's a perfect <laughs> pot yeah. You're gonna smoke there. That is <laughs> That's amazing. Is that one okay or yeah it goes all the way it goes about in there? Here. It <gasps> probably stops right there and then oh. that one has a pocket too probably. That's cool. So cool. Did you find a good one? Oh uh, yeah, it's closing the I think so it's closing. Oh Very cool. Dude. Dude. Oh my gosh, someone okay. forgot something that they might be showing oh, us right now. We flipped a rock. And there was like a we're gonna find this maybe an Easter egg hunt. An Easter egg hunt. Oh, cobwebs! Oh, yeah. Look, my car is way the hell over there. Oh no, actually, it's that way. Sorry. <laughs> that little bright green one. But look at this. Wow, the view is beautiful. Just sitting there. I don't know if it's gonna come off. Oh, perfect. Look at that. Let's keep our fingers crossed that that looks good after. Just got a little thing in there. Yeah, that's the so, secondary bubble. Hopefully, hopefully, this is a good, good thunder egg. Look at all these right here. Yeah, there's tons Stuck. of them all just, of them just in oh, the rock. Oh my gosh. So, what is this? Let's see. This is almost pyroclastic, guys, but it's rhyolitic at the same time. Yes, very much decomposing. And I stink. This is a problem when you hike. It happens. Look. Uh-oh. You found it? Okay. Supposedly. Thunder egg nest. A thunder egg nest. No, they're not ancient birds. <laughs> oh! Oh, it's everywhere. It's so pretty, I can't stop. Oh, 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 there's something in my hair. Oh, it's a stick. I'm good. Okay. Sorry. So yeah, we top, we tip this rock over, and all these things are Look at this one! Yeah, look. Oh my gosh! They're, they're just coming out of the ground here, look. Like, huge ones. This Whoa. one's even got some druzy. Oh, wow. A little bit. Man, oh man! Heck yeah! It's not even... You can still see them where they're stuck in. They're stuck in the rock, yeah. Yeah, but the, the rock was oh, catching them, I think, when they were falling down. Oh, this one broke. Was together, it broke. Oh. Darn it. Darn it. Wow. This is what I was like, oh man, there's a thunder egg nest. <laughs> yeah, this is amazing. And there's some more. There's just gotta be more in there. Yeah. Wow. Right here. I don't know if we'll move this rock. Oh, out of the way. let me see yeah. what this is and then you are. Ooh, oh, darn it, it's not. I don't think it's. It looks like a bean. You can see it. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, I bet this is a good one. Yeah. Yeah, I bet that one's very cool. It's huge. That one is big, isn't it? Yeah. Oh. Some of these. Of Look how cool that is. 
wonder. Ooh! Literally, it's so much, so much that you can carry it. You can't carry it all out, no way. No. I don't even think I can move that. You want it? Hang on, I'll move out the way. No, oh, wow. You want to move, move the rock? Mm. Ah. I'll leave it. Oh. I'm already scuff, like scuffing up all my hands. Uh, uh oh. Oh, you have the gloves. I have gloves. I have gloves. Yeah, I have gloves too. I just didn't put them on. <laughs> never use. Yeah, I never do. <laughs> I have I the like gloves I never use. This one's not bad. It's a little one that wrecked it. It's so cool. All right, I have to think about which ones I'm taking. Probably these two. And then clean them. And we're gonna go up and check out the view. This is the top of the hill. And pretty much the end of my hike. Well, I mean, I have to walk back to my car to get home, but that's besides the point. That's pretty cool. Okay, he was not lying. They're everywhere. You guys saw them. You saw me freak out over them. You saw these guys freak out over them. Like, this is definitely an awesome location. A pain in the butt to get to if you're not an avid hiker, or if you manage to bring the wrong shoes, or you get lost easily. This won't work for you. However, it was really cool to see, so we thank Josh. Thank you, Josh. Absolutely. <laughs> you're welcome. So, this was awesome. Thank you guys so much for watching and being part of my adventure. I hope you guys learned something and you had an awesome time. I just wanted to say thank you so much for all of my Patreon supporters. You guys mean the world to me. And thank you so much for those of you that subscribe. I found out really fast by trying to cut one of these geodes <laughs> that it wasn't gonna work very well on my ring saw. I'm definitely going to need to buy a tile saw in order to do that because this little bitty guy right here took me 20 minutes. I'd be there for days cutting a big one, but here are the results of how beautiful the gas bubble geodes came out, as well as the little mini thunder egg that I cut on my ring saw. You can see when I flip the back of this around how it looks like just a regular rock, but cooler. I like this gas bubble geode because it's got something orange in it, which I think is calcite, and just all of them together were amazing to find and cut open.